Fox News contributor Ken Starr served as the independent counsel investigating Bill Clinton. He joins us now. Ken, thanks for being here. So is, is Bill Barr undermining his office? No, no, and no again. Uh, Bill Barr is an honorable and honest man. He is an extraordinarily able uh, lawyer, uh, and he has a track record. You know, he didn't come out of politics from the Senate or wherever. He came out of the world of law. And in the world of law, we try to follow the rules, and that's exactly what he's doing. And unfortunately, the criticism, which is obviously political, uh, is in my judgment, eroding confidence in the rule of law unnecessarily. It's, it's, I, I think it's very unfortunate, and it's, it's quite wrong. It's unfair, but welcome to Washington. <laughs> welcome to Washington. Well, Ken, uh, the president tweeted yesterday on this topic. He said, why should I be defending a fraudulent Russian witch hunt? It's about time the perpetrators of this fraud on me and the American people start defending their dishonest and treasonous acts. How and why did this terrible event begin? Never forget, is it worth looking backwards and finding out where this came from to begin with. Of course it is. Uh, we do need to know more facts uh, with respect to the background, the origins of this investigation. So many questions have been raised, and obviously there have been a lot of revelations that raise reasonable questions about how did it all begin. So we do need to know that, and we're not talking about it. Now to go back to Bill Barr, Bill Barr is protecting grand jury information. Mm -hmm. I, and I know this personally because I was accused of committing a crime during my investigation. Why? You were revealing disclosing grand jury information. That is the law of the land and what Congress, these voices, some people in Congress, are basically saying, Bill Barr, you're the Attorney General of the United States, but why don't you commit a crime? Mm -hmm. uh, people find that difficult to understand and believe, but it's true. We had to, in fact, and we did secure a court order to provide the information that we were obligated to provide to Congress. Bill Barr, under the regulations, we're in a different regime now, is under no such obligation. Yep. He's already fulfilled his obligation. He's no. notified and he's Congress and he's provided an explanation. Yep. No, he's going to go farther. So sure, stay as tuned. he said he will do. Uh, but Congress right. is, is taking another tactic here. A headline in Politico caught our eye. It said Congress's new Mueller fight. Do Dems need to begin impeachment to uh. see secret files? So the argument is the House would need a judicial proceeding in order to get discovery of the full Mueller report. The only judicial proceeding the House can do is impeachment. Is there a possibility Democrats do that just to get to the unredacted version? I hope it doesn't come to that, and I don't think there will be a need for that, because everyone wants transparency. I mean, that's the irony of, of this uh, cat fight, if I may say that. Uh, the uh, whole idea of Bill Barr's seeking transparency is, I want to give you everything that I possibly can. So let's go through this process, see what the redacted report uh, looks like. But I will just say this. We went through impeachment, and impeachment is hell. So I think that the leadership is rightly saying, no, 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 we, we don't want to go that way. But I don't think that's going to be necessary, Pete, one person's mm -hmm. view. Ken, when I, briefly, when I looked at the, I went and looked back at the FISA application on Carter Page, which is heavily redacted when it was released, I mean, full pages in black. With this Mueller report, what do you anticipate? How much redaction do you think will come with it? Well, it all depends. If there's grand jury information, it's going to, and that'll be frustrating, it's going to be redacted. If there's national security information, it's going to be redacted because that is Bill Barr's duty to do that. So we may be frustrated by that, but then the conversation should begin. That is the negotiation. How do we accomplish the objective of providing as much transparency to the American mm -hmm. people as is possible? Ken, exit question. When will we stop talking about Russia, your prediction? <laughs> Uh, probably sometime after November 2020. Some things just don't seem to die, and this is one of them. But I will say this in closing. If there had been collusion with Russia, we would have known about it, Pete, long yeah. before now. No, you're right. Judge, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. My pleasure. You got it.